My name is Richard McHuron. I am 53. I live at Shoto, Oklahoma, and uh, I live and work on a cattle ranch. I'm married to Teresa McHuron. We've been married 34 years. I've got two daughters and a son, and I've got seven grandkids. This first started, uh, I believe, it was in the summertime. We was, of course, doing a lot of work outside, and uh, I would just get real short of breath. And if I'd bend over and get back up, I would get really dizzy and nauseous. I would seem like I was always tired all the time and didn't have any energy and just didn't know what was going on at that time. Richard had been feeling bad for quite a while, um, probably over 10 years that he had been having, been symptomatic. We kept asking the doctors that we go to about if there's anything else that could be done after he got the pacemaker and that seemed to help for a short time but it just really wasn't doing the trick. And as he was getting older and he was just having more episodes, Dr. Sandler at Oklahoma Heart there recommended that uh, he had this uh, pulmonary vein ablation surgery. Mr. Mohoran was initially diagnosed with atrial fibrillation in 1998, so 10 years ago. He had his ablation about a year and a half ago. I think the procedure itself was fairly experimental in the late 90s and even early 2000s, and there were very few centers in the country that were doing them, but they were the large academic centers that we all know of. Over the past three to five years, the procedure itself has been uh, incorporated into numerous labs that perform a lot of complex ablations, like our own, and they become very routine. It's not a simple procedure, but they can be performed in, you know, small towns like Tulsa, Oklahoma with a very functional lab. And first it was kind of like a oh, pulmonary vein, you know, it's like, this is really scary. Um, and we'd done a little research on our own after uh, Dr. Sandler and his assistant explained it to us. They were very good about being very detailed about how they diagrammed it all out and explained it in our terms. Um, so we decided that the risk was worth taking and uh, it was a little tense in the waiting room waiting for someone to come out and tell you about how he was doing because you had no idea that uh, Dr. Sandler came in just beaming in the, in the waiting room. He said it was just, just a perfect success. He said it's one of those times whenever everything just fell into place. When I woke up I felt completely different. Uh, I didn't have any more problems. I felt great. And he said it was a complete success, and it has been. And so I'm, I haven't had any trouble since. I can do anything really I want to now. Before, just going out and walking, doing anything outside, I said I would get very short of breath and get very lightheaded. Uh, and it has uh, just took care of all those problems. Everything's just really gone well. He's not been near as tired. He really likes to ride his horse and team pen, and those things had gotten very difficult for him to do prior to this because he just didn't feel well. But now that's not even a thought for an excuse. So 